Fiery Fox Learns About Fire Safety by Teresa Davis, illustrated by Ellie Reese King. Fiery Fox likes adventure and fun. He was fast on his feet, as all day he would run. He'd make a great postman, an athlete, they'd say, but he wasn't good at listening, causing mischief each day. Now this day was no different as he ran through the woods, chasing friend Squirrel as fast as he could. He came to a clearing all quiet and still. He stopped for a second and looked on until something lay on the ground all shiny and bright. Fiery Fox bent down and held on to it tight. I wonder what it is and what it will do. First he tapped it, then sh shook it, and then he let go. As it fell to the ground, a flame whooshed in the air. It almost burnt his bottom and nearly scorched his hair. The flame travelled quickly, burning flowers and trees, and the sky filled with smoke as it travelled on the breeze. The smoke filled the woodland, engulfing everyone in sight. First the badgers, then squirrels, even birds took flight. Then up in the distance a shadow appeared, big and quite scary, with a voice that Fox feared. Lie down on the ground, stay out of the smoke. Fari did as he was told, as he thought he might choke. Fari's dad was a fireman, big, strong and brave. He put out the fire and the woodland was saved. For Fari that day, a lesson was learnt. Playing with fires is dangerous, as you could get burnt. So... If you find a match or lighter, do not touch. Always tell a grown-up and they will thank you very much. So now Fiery Fox has his fires at home and leaves matches and lighters well alone. He sits in the fire circle with Daddy and Mummy. First they go through the rules, then toast marshmallows. Yummy! Fiery Fox's Fire Safety Rules Stay safe when sharing a fire with a grown-up. Always walk around the outside of the fire circle or seated area when you need to move. Keep your hands away from the fire. Stay away from the fire unless you're invited to cook. Kneel on the ground next to a grown-up when cooking on an open fire so you don't fall in. Only add sticks to a fire when asked to do so by a grown-up. The end. We really hope you enjoyed this story. Come back another day for another amazing Breakfast Boost Challenge story. Bye! Story time!